Yes, Jamie? Jesus. Kevin, I've been thinking about this. We need to find the soul of Logger. What do we do? Well, you know, there's only one place we can go. Where? We gotta go to Germany. Let's do it. We're on our uh, way to the airport. We're gonna get a ride over to the uh, departure and uh, take off to Munich and uh, maybe drink one or two beers there. We're going to Germany to learn more about beer because we haven't learned enough yet. And the only way to learn is to drink it. Gates from Munich. All right, we're here. We landed here. We're a little jet lagged. We're in the center of Munich right now. So let's go drink some beer right now. Okay, guys. Jamie? Kev, what are you doing here? We're going to drink some beer. <laughs> let's go. Come on. Let's go. All right, we are in the Augustiner Breu uh, Keller. Uh, it's one of the newer breweries. Uh, so it was founded in 1328. This is one of my favorite beers on earth. They're Hellas, the best expression of grain that there ever was. It's extremely flavorful, but nuanced as well. Almost all of our lagers use Augustiner yeast, which we love. Let's drink this. Cheers. Prost. Prost. Hey guys, we're here at Weinstefan, the world's oldest brewery here in Freising, Germany. Uh, it's somewhere I've really wanted to come forever. I cannot believe we're about to get a private tour. Uh, I am so excited and elated, and I really can't wait to walk this floor and uh, see the oldest brewery in the world. It's gonna be fantastic. You know, Weinstefan is the world's oldest brewery. We're doing uh, 300 hectoliters per brew. Right now we are drinking original Hellas uh, directly off one of the serving, or no, this is off of the horizontal tank. Yeah. Correct? Yeah. Horizontal vessel. A real lager tank. Unbelievable. True lager tank. This is one of the most beautiful pale lagers from the oldest brewery in the world. And I'm speechless. I can't believe I'm even talking right now. Yeah. I'm just going to keep I'm drinking. Gonna pitch <laughs> <laughs> this is like a real treat. We made, made the trip. Yeah, this really good. All right, guys, uh, we just had an amazing time in München. Now we're at the Hauptbahnhof, the main train station in Munich, and we're headed to Salzburg. Now we're just trying to recoup, get on a train, get a little rest, and we'll have some stuff to show you in a little bit. Hey guys, we are at Augustiner Breu Mühlen. This is not to be confused with Augustiner Breu in Munich. Uh, this is a brewery that was started in the early 1600s. It is known as the largest Braustubel in all of Austria since 1621. Really fascinating. We're in this beautiful beer hall right now and uh, they have one of the largest beer gardens in all of Europe outside as well. It's really a beautiful town and the beers are excellent. Right now we're drinking the Merzen. It's a fantastic amber lager that's served from a gravity cast. It's a little hoppier than some other pale lagers, but it's really pleasant. A uh, little stronger alcohol too at about 5.7, but super pleasant and uh, we like drinking this beer. Hey guys, we're here at the late night sausage stand in Salzburg, Austria. It's called a Käsekreiner stand, and this is what I've been looking for. This is a Käsekreiner hot dog. That means cheese inside the hot dog, a sausage inside. Look at that, inside a French roll. So they hone it out, put in mustard and ketchup in a nice soft French doughy roll. And they have the pepperoni here. This is a little hot peppers. We'll eat those too. Here's the first snap, first bite. Look at that. Look at that cheese, mustard. This is heaven, topped up a little steel. Honestly, 
I give this like maybe a 9.8, or maybe this is another one that's better than this. I don't know. This is absolute heaven. You have to have one of these. If you haven't, you haven't lived. Cheers. All right, we made it. We're staying here at the Hotel Nipomuk here in Bamberg. Uh, in Upper Franconia, and we're really excited to be here. Just got out of the train, and we're gonna trek over and hike over to the oldest brewery in Bamberg, the Klosterbräu. All right, let's go. All right, we've made it. Hey guys, we're here in Bamberg at Weiermann, one of our favorite maltsters in the world. Uh, we're here brewing a beer with them at their pilot brewery. Uh, we're having an amazing time today brewing this Maybach and touring this wonderful facility. Hello. Hello. What Weiermann is doing here is just next level. It's really a treat to be here with them today. See, this is a different new pretzel. It's coming right out of, <laughs> it's different. See, that's gonna be the next thing. Wow. Oh, wow. Yeah, they're perfect. Wow. This is really the reason we came to Germany, is to pair with these incredible breweries with just such rich history. It's really great for us to take it back home and uh, to be constantly inspired. Hey guys, we're on our way to Bayreuth uh, to brew with our friends Meisel and friends. We're super excited to be there. They were founded in the late 1800s and evolved quite a bit since then. Uh, but we're going to brew a Bach beer inspired by California. So it's going to be a really nice, pleasant hop forward lager. And uh, we're really looking forward to getting there. Hearing about Meisel and Friends being a family-owned business is important to us. Obviously, we're a family-owned business. The beer style, the beer quality, the levels of excellence they have here, it's really inspiring. We are a classic brewery, but we're well known in Germany for craft beers and our classic beers. And it's good to have the experience of a Californian brewery. We wanted to do something uh, that's uh, fit in both of our breweries something traditional, that's why we're doing a Bock beer, a Maibock. Then we said, okay, we need an American twist, it's going to be a good beer. The beer itself is a Bock beer, so it's a higher gravity, stronger lager beer. It's using some traditional aspects in terms of the ingredients and methods used to produce the beer, but we're also using some California influences. It's just a really exciting time for us to be here and bring this beer together. It's good to make a California-style Maibock. I never had that beer before, so I'm looking forward to have a hoppy Bock. That type of focus and care is what I love to bring back to our brewery and have people see how much we care about our brewing system as well. There's nothing better to, to be able to brew beer and see the excitement on people's faces when they are able to drink your beer. I think that's the biggest thing I get from it. Beer has a way of bringing people together. The collaborations we've had on this trip and the knowledge we've gained is so valuable. Beer is more than just a beverage to us. And at Fig Mountain, we want to continue to make some of the best beer in the world and we can't wait to keep learning and traveling and collaborating with other people that have the same vision as we do. All right, so we've missed our train, which means we've missed our plane. So, so. it's only one thing to do. All right, thank you. <laughs> That's all we can do. Frost. <laughs>